Good morning peeps, happy Saturday and welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you are new here, my name is Sydney and this is Sydney Alicia and this vlog series is all about my experience here at tech school. I'm in the United States Air Force. I've been in for a little over four years and I went back to school to actually change my job. So my career field was different when I first got in the military and now I'm training to be a mental health tech. So I just wanted to say hey, give you a little background if you're new here. So today I am actually heading out. This morning I've done quite a bit of stuff. Um, um, and I wasn't feeling that great this morning, so I wasn't planning on leaving my room But I started feeling a little better So I took a shower got dressed and everything and this morning I was actually studying my Air Force specific material So if you guys have been here for the very beginning, you know that honestly, we're wrapping it up I'm gonna be done here. I graduate on May 11th So I only have about what four or five more weeks here of weekly vlogs super exciting So this morning I was actually studying my Air Force specific material because we have our last test on monday thank goodness finally i think i currently have like a 97 point something or 98 point something gpa in the class so i'm trying to get 100 on this test on monday so this one i actually started on our briefing because one of the things we have to do for the air force specific section of my tech school is conduct the briefing of our choosing and it has to relate to mental health. So for me, the topic I chose is quote recovery and this is an overview of what my project or my briefing is gonna be about. So I'm gonna do like an icebreaker. I'm gonna explain what is a cult, famous cults, warning signs, cult conversion, psychological abuse, coercive control, cognitive dissonance, survivors of cults and mental health and recovery. So I chose this topic because I was actually watching the docu-series or is it a not a docu series. I guess it's an original series on Hulu about the cult at Sarah Lawrence College. And I was like, you know what? That's really interesting. Cults are really interesting and fascinating to me. So I was like, I'm just going to do a whole briefing on it. So that's what I've been working on this morning. I pretty much have just added some video clips and kind of built the shell of what I want to do and put a bunch of links for references that I want to go back and research more. But we also get all of Monday afternoon, Tuesday, and Wednesday to finish our brief in class. So I'm going to do that while I'm there. But today, I am actually going to head out and do a little bit of shopping because you guys know I like to get out a little bit on the weekends and just, you know, shop a little bit, be out and about, get some sunlight. And it's really nice today, too. It's like 79 degrees last time I checked. Yeah, it is currently 82 degrees. It went up in like 30 minutes. That's crazy. And another thing, I'm never going to leave this room, but if you guys are watching my weekly vlogs, especially last week, I think last week was week 11, I'm losing track, but um, I showed you guys that I found khakis for my clinicals because we have to wear uh, business casual clothing for our clinicals, especially when we're going to the clinical out in civilian sector, but we're doing that for a week. I had to pick up some khakis, pick them up from the gap. One of the girls that I hung out with, remember when I went to the park? I think that was week 11. It might've been week 10. And I hung out and met this new girl. She gave me her shirts that she used. So these are the shirts that she used for clinicals and she gave me them because obviously she doesn't plan on reusing them for anything. They're from the brand Goodfellow. So if you guys know Goodfellow, this is a Target brand and this is just in a size small men. So it's really big for me, but I do have the khakis that I just purchased from The Gap and these are women's khakis. So when I tuck these inside, it's gonna look better, I hope. I haven't tried everything on yet. Um, and she has washed the tops and everything else, obviously. I'm not picky when it comes to like stuff like that, like reusing other people's stuff because one, I grew up as a middle child. I have two older sisters, an older brother, two younger sisters, a younger brother, and I'm used to hand-me-downs and wearing other people's clothes and having to wear my, it don't matter. And also, I used to thrift a lot too. Speaking of thrifting, let me show you guys my outfit because the dress is actually thrifted. So if you guys have been watching my weekly vlogs, you remember me talking about this yellow dress. I originally bought it and it was way longer. Go back probably week, ooh, I can't remember what week it was, but I picked this up from Buffalo Exchange. It was way longer than this and the sleeves were not fitted, but I went and got it altered and it fits 
perfectly now. It's super cute. It's definitely giving cottage core vibes. I love the neckline of it. It's from the brand Ann Taylor, if I'm not mistaken. And the sleeves are way more fitted. If I pull them up, they actually stay there because I had her fit it to the topper, the upper part of my arms because sometimes I want my sleeves to be fitted like this. And then I just have this gorgeous belt. I wrapped it twice and it's honestly giving some Japanese vibes like the kimonos they wear. Super pretty dress. I love this dress so much. This is my first time wearing it since I got it from Alterations and I think it looks really pretty, right? I think it looks so cute. Also wearing my bandana. I picked this bandana up from a little boutique in town. like kind of close to when I first got here. And then I'm just wearing my Target slides that I literally wear all the time. And my go-to bag that I love from Kate Spade. It was a birthday gift from my hubby. And yeah, so this is today's outfit. Super summer, super cute. So the plan for today is I wanna go to Home Goods. I know, all I do is go to Home Goods. But they have the best snacks there. Even though they've been slipping lately, I just wanna pop in Home Goods. I wanna pop into Target today because they are dropping their spring collection. And I was like, ooh, I definitely wanna check out their collections. So this is the spring designer collection that has just dropped at Target today. And I just wanna go check it out and see what it's all about. I know there was some pieces that I actually wanted to pick up for myself. I don't think I added it to my cart. No, I didn't, okay. But yeah, so I'm gonna go to Target, Home Goods, pop, maybe pop into TJ Maxx, and I don't know, just wanna be out for today. I put light makeup on, I put a little bit of my cream blush from Fenty in the shade Summertime Wine, and I put a little concealer on my Dark Marks, and it's the NARS Creamy Radiance Concealer, and then I just filled in my brows with the Anastasia Dip Brow, and I put my lip chap on from Burt's Bees that I just picked up from Nordstrom the other day, Nordstrom Rack the other day and this is the one this is the pomegranate one so yeah so very light makeup very you know just whatever chill let me grab my ear pods because i keep forgetting to actually pack my ear pods i plan on being back in my room pretty early right now it's 12 40 the plan is to be back in my room by no later than like four o'clock because i do want to edit last week's vlog that's by the time you're seeing this already up and i think i want to say it's week 11 that you guys will be seeing so let's head out the door dresses to try on mostly white which is so funny i just realized all the dresses i picked up are white and then i have this bathing suit i want to try on super cute i remember seeing scissor wear something like this so it's like oh my god i gotta try this on and it reminds me of pop-up girls and then i have a bunch of tops over here and skirts and i have like one set back there so here is dress number one this is so cute, but it's not the most flattering thing on me. It has pockets, but it's just not really flattering. But then again, it is a nice throw on white dress. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get this. It's so funny because this is basically the same neckline that I'm wearing today. I do like this neckline. I think it's kind of like growing and sexy in a way. But like I said, this cut just doesn't suit me. It just, yeah super cute though still like definitely still really really cute dress this one so cute i love the length like i think it stops at a really good length on me this dress is so so cute i really like this what do you guys think the only thing i don't like is that it's kind of see-through like you can see the bo the pocket cut out the bottom and i don't like that because it does have pockets honestly this dress didn't need pockets i don't like that you can see them yeah the potential was there though can you see the vision you see the back of the dress in the mirror back there the vision was there it's just and it's crazy because this is an extra small i just think it's huge it's way too big if it was actually fitted i would probably go like that actually probably not because it's really long too another one that could have been really cute is just too big this is an extra small i don't know why they're so big on me but Again, if it was my actual size, very, really, really cute, but this dress is so ugly. Oh my God. This dress is terrible. The cut of it, the shape of it, material, everything about this dress is just zero out of 10. Like, 
this part i don't know what to do with it i kind of want to do this the belt is super cute i like that as a rope but it's kind of like low-key makes me feel like i'm supposed to be on a boat or something i don't know it's just not giving what it's supposed to have gave it looks better like this but i think it's supposed to be like this i don't think it's for me fam Hell no. it's too big i love the pattern though of this bikini it's just that it's way too big for me. Okay guys, so I'm for number one. Let's first talk about the top. Love the top. Super fitted. Looks really, feels really good. Looks good. I love the square cut, like the square neckline of it. I don't have a bra right now, so getting a little bit of nipple action. And then I have this skirt on that is so cute. I've been wanting a cute little pleated mini skirt like this. The only thing about it is it's tiny, like, <laughs> it's tiny. I bend over. It's a wrap. But I really like it though. It's so cute. I would definitely wear spanks underneath it. Like I have some black spanks that I would throw on underneath it. But I'm trying to figure out if it's just too short. But you see in the mirror back there, I have a cutout in the back too. It's a really cute shirt. And like I said, I have the skirt on with it. I would want to pull the skirt. This is the thing. I would want to pull the skirt up to my waist. But like, holy guacamole. I wonder, maybe I could find the skirt online and get it in a bigger size. Because the waist is perfect. So I'm thinking if I get a small, it'd probably be really good. So here is the last top. It really don't go with the skirt. So I don't even pay attention to the skirt. But it has this beautiful um, embroidered. Not embroidered. Are they embroidered? Yeah, kind of. They have some, have some embroidered floral patterns on here. Super pretty, but it's itchy. The fabric sucks and the puffs are just too puffy for me. And it's see-through, so I'm just like, ugh. I would have to wear something underneath this. It's just too much work, so this is a no, but it had the potential. It was a really pretty dress, really pretty shirt. This set is gorgeous. It's just a little too big, so let me there that's how it's supposed to look super pretty love the pattern it's so summer so vacation i don't have no vacations to go on but it's such a pretty set right isn't it so cute okay guys it is so hot out here oh lordy it is 86 degrees according to my like dashboard it is hot so i ended up just getting two things i got that bodysuit with the like cutouts this one right here i ended up getting this one i also ended up getting a head scarf you guys know i love head scarves and bandanas well not bandanas but like head scarves like this so i ended up picking up the same pattern one as that two-piece set that i got and it was from one of the spring collections so it's from her line right here this is noel i think that's what it's called but yeah, I ended up getting the headscarf. It goes with what I'm wearing today, too. It's just really cute. So I ended up picking this up, and they have, like, multiple ways you can wear it, like this and like this. But you guys know I don't wear my headscarves like that. Like, I usually push them back past my hairline. But super cute. Ended up getting this. And then you can also always put it, like, if you're wearing a ponytail or something, like, wrap it around your ponytail. So now I'm about to head to Home Goods and waste some time in there and see what they got, if they even have anything that I would want. And then we're gonna head back to my room. I don't know what I'm eating for dinner today. I have some leftover chicken um, that I can eat to just put something on my stomach, but I'm not 100% sure of what's like for dinner tonight for me. All right, peeps, I am back in the room. Well, I've been back in the room for a while. I washed my hair. I actually have a plastic bag on my head right now. I used the pattern treatment mask on my hair and I just did a co-wash with my Monday conditioning shampoo. I mean, not shampoo, but moisturizing conditioner from monday and then the treatment mask from pattern you guys have already seen me do my hair and like the products and stuff that's why i didn't show it but i wanted to come on camera and show you guys what i got from home goods because i did show y'all what i got from target but i didn't show you what i got from home goods so i ended up picking up these caramels i always go in there and pick up some type of snacks these are so good i had way too many <laughs> of these they were $5.99 and they're just sea salt caramel milk chocolates. I'll show you guys what they look like. This is what they look like. And then inside is just the caramel. So if you see those in the store, pick them up. They're actually really good. And then I also got Marshall a dog toy. Today is actually his birthday. I'll insert some pictures of 
his birthday if I haven't already put it on a thumbnail but he is two years old today so I picked him up this little dumbbell because I thought it was so cute it's a six pound dumbbell for dogs <laughs> It's a little squeaky toy. It literally is maybe like half a pound, if a pound, even that. And then I picked up some clothing items. I think I only got two clothing items. Yeah, I only got two. So I ended up picking up this basic t-shirt from the brand Tahari. And it's in one of my favorite tones or my favorite colors. This nice bony neutral. And I actually have the same exact shirt in another color already. I literally have the same shirt already. This is my other one and this one is in like a more chocolatey brown so i ended up seeing this today and i was like "Ooh, i gotta get that so i have both colors of the same kind of essential t-shirt and that was 12.99 and it is from the tahari essentials line so if you guys see these in the stores pick it up because it feels really good they're really soft they fit really well they're super casual top but they still look nice like the cut of them and then i got this really pretty dress and I tried it on and it was absolutely gorgeous when I tried it on. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to get that. I can actually slip this on for you guys really quick. Let me just take my little nightgown off and I'll show you guys what this dress looks like on. So here is this dress. It is gorgeous. It's a nice long dress. It comes down to my ankles. So it's a maxi dress on me. I'm a shorty do up and it doesn't have any pockets, which I actually like because sometimes when it has pockets, you can see the pockets through the fabric and that irritates me. That's why I didn't buy that white dress from Target earlier. Um, I'm just gonna move closer so you guys can see the details. And it just has a nice smocked waist, which is very, very nice because it's comfortable. As you can see, I can breathe in it, but also it cinches me in. And then I love the neckline. I love this nice deep V. It's very flirty, but it's still super cute and casual. Love the sleeves. The sleeves are so, so comfortable. They're not a tight elastic, but obviously they still give me the puff sleeve. And I can actually adjust this and wear it down here or pull it more up like this. So I really like that. And this dress is really nice too, because I don't have to wear a bra right now. I'm not wearing a bra with it and it still looks good, I think. And then I can also wear a bra with it because how low this goes, it isn't so low that it exposes my bra. And then I love the layers. Can you guys see how it's like tiered? It's so beautiful. The fabric is fabulous. So I picked this up and I love it. It's actually in a size medium, believe it or not. I was searching for a size small, extra small, but now that I'm wearing it again, I think a medium is good. Like, I think a medium fits really good. Um, I think the extra small or small probably would have been too tight on me. I feel super comfortable. I can move. I can jump in this. I feel super free and stuff. So I'm really excited to wear this for my wedding weekend. I plan on wearing this for our, my wedding party brunch. If not my brunch, probably my rehearsal dinner. I mean, my rehearsal. Yeah, my wedding day rehearsal. This dress was $40 worth every penny um i still love it as much as i did when i tried it on in the store and yeah so that's everything i picked up today from home goods and tj maxx um otherwise i'm about to go to bed <laughs> i'm actually about to go to bed i was in traffic for like 40 minutes today and i ended up hurting my hand really bad can you guys see the bruise can you guys see that y'all can see that right that bruise on my hand um i hurt my hand today don't ask me how because i really don't know how it happened but it hurts when I move my hands certain ways or try to like grab stuff or grip stuff or open stuff. So I'm giving it 24 hours to kind of heal. And if not, I'll be going to the ER tomorrow. So that'll be fun. Always fun to go to the ER. Um, so hopefully this heals up. But otherwise, I don't have anything else going on today. Like I said, I washed my hair. Well, I co-washed my hair. And now I'm doing a treatment mask. Yeah. Cause girls is players too. Happy Monday. What a Monday. I Today has been, let me, let me tell you guys about today because today has been a day. So, um, I didn't pick up the camera yesterday, which was Sunday, obviously, today is Monday, um, because I didn't do anything. I literally went back to the ER. I was there for three hours because my hand, I ended up um, spraining a tendon or straining a tendon in my hand. So... <laughs> That's what happened yesterday. Um, and I ended up just studying and I didn't do anything else all day. Um, so today we had a test. I ended up getting 100 on the test and we figured out who was number one in the class. And I, that is not me, which was very sad because that was something I was working toward. I wanted to be number one in the class. I'm actually number two. My GPA in the class is a 97.67, and the person who's the number one in the class is a 
one three or something like that. So I'm just like, I was so close. Um, and I think it's like the overachiever in me that wanted that one spot, that number one spot in the class. But I have to be okay with that. I still did, I still did very, very well in the class. And it is what it is. It is what it is. I have to let it go. But another thing that I'm kind of like, kind of sad about, I guess you could say I'm sad um, about is the fact that um, I forgot. Which is good because I don't remember why I was upset. Wow, I, I forgot that fast. I can't remember. One of the things I do want to do is buy an adapter for my laptop. But, um... It was another thing I was kind of upset about. It was me not being number one in the class. Um, oh, we got a house. I think I told you guys about that already. Um, and it's not the house I wanted. But, you know, beggars can be choosers. You know, when you... When you are in a position where you kind of just get what you get and you don't get upset that's where i am like it doesn't mean you have to like the situation but it means you have to be grateful for what you do have you know and what you are being offered but i honestly cannot remember what else i was kind of meh about which is a good thing that means i already forgot and i'm not even gonna put in a lot of effort to remember but today um all we did was that test and i've been working on my presentation for class let me show you guys because it's actually coming along really really good and i'm really excited so my topic is quote recovery i think i already talked to you guys about this it feels like i have deja vu right now so i won't get too into this but i did want to get on my laptop because today i was finally able to actually go into the system um somebody let me use their macbook adapter so that i could see what ribbons i actually need to get for my blues uniform because that's what i'm about to go do right now i'm about to go buy my blues uniform ribbons so on here I have five ribbons, as you can see. On the portal I have eight. So I'm missing three. I'm mixing, so this is what my ribbon wrap looks like and this is what the computer looks like. So I'm just looking at it and comparing it. And I also am missing those Oakley clothes clusters. You guys see? Let me show you, let me get them close. But you guys see these Oakley clusters right here? I'm missing those, I don't have those. Um, I don't even have this ribbon, I don't think. Yeah, I don't even have this ribbon, so I gotta get this ribbon. Um, oh, I about to say, and these, yeah, these are the only ribbons I have, and I also need to buy the occupational badge. Um, I do still have my master program classes today. Let's go ahead and compare what I have, because I have, okay, I have my... I don't even have them in order anymore. They like have a whole different order of how they're supposed to look. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take my ribbons off of here because it's confusing. So I just took all my ribbons off of my uniform and the ribbon rack I have right now is a five one. So I'm gonna get one more three stack. So let me show you guys, I'm breaking the uniform down, but this is a two stack and this is a three. So I'm gonna get another three to go like right under beneath, you know what I mean, whatever. So at least I don't have to buy a bunch of those. So I just gotta get one more row I got the occupational badge and then, cause I don't have, okay. <laughs> See, this is, this is confusing. All right, so I'm gonna figure this out. Once I figure it out, I'll talk to you guys in the car. I probably won't record in the military clothing store, but I might, I'm gonna see if I can get a clip or two if I don't get too shy about like having my camera. But um, I'll get with you guys in a bit. Y'all explain to me why the military clothing store is closed on Mondays. Didn't know that. I literally went searching for this store just to find out that it's closed today. So, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I'll just go tomorrow and get what I got to get tomorrow. Not a big deal. But right now, I'm about to warm up some leftovers. I actually got Chinese food yesterday. And I got shrimp and broccoli. Nasty. 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 Like, not every Chinese restaurant is made the same. I got shrimp and broccoli. The shrimp is nasty. Like, I don't know what kind of shrimp they use for this, but it ain't hitting on nothing. But yeah. Anyway, like I said, tonight I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to eat these leftovers. And then I have two classes. I have class until 1025 tonight. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Nothing exciting. I don't think you guys care. I wanted to show you guys, like I said, the um, military clothing store. But I'm going to be going tomorrow. And I'll show you guys tomorrow. But, oh, I actually tried on, hold on, let me show you guys what I did. Earlier, I actually, before I left out, I was trying on my blues, and I'm trying to decide if for graduation I want to do my skirt or do the trousers. Do you guys want to see what they look like? Like, my uniform is so incomplete right now because, like, I don't have the proper ribbons on my blues. But I'm going to show you guys, like, 
Should I try it on with this top or should I try it on with the actual blues top? You know, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower so I can put fresh clean skin on my uniforms. And then we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you guys what the pants look like versus the skirt. And then I'm gonna say goodbye to y'all until tomorrow. How about that? Yeah, that sounds fun. All right, let's do that. Okay guys, obviously I'm not in rags right now, okay? I'm missing my belt um, and my hair is not, obviously I got it on. But this is what the pants will look like, right? Um, we do have to wear a blues belt with it and I'm trying to figure out whether or not I wanna do these pants right here or I'll show you guys the skirt too. And then this is the skirt. I've never wore this skirt, can you, can you see why? Like it's literally not a flattering skirt. In my opinion, it's not a flattering skirt on me. I just think it makes me look like a school teacher. Low key, everybody makes fun of Air Force and says we look like flight attendants. And personally, when we're wearing a skirt and like the blazer and everything, I think so too. But some something in me kind of wants to wear the skirt. Like, am I crazy for that? Like, cause I do want to get the pumps. Let me show you guys the pumps that I'm thinking about ordering. So these are the pumps that I'm thinking about getting. They're about two inches high and they're like $42, which, you know, whatever. But I have regular low quarters too. I'm not gonna show you guys that, but this is what it looks like. At least the skirt has pockets, I guess. At least it has pockets. So what do you guys think? Skirt or pants? Please let me know what y'all think down below. Again, like I said, this isn't the full uniform. I do have a blazer. How does this look to you guys? Does this look good? I don't know, but I don't think I, I don't think I look good. And personally, like I would wanna take in the sides. Like I know you're not supposed to like make it super form fitting, but baby, we can slim this down a little bit and make it actually kind of cute. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the skirt? I'm warming up to it the more I look at myself. I can't really see myself because it's such a small viewfinder. But with the pumps, I look you feel like I look like a flight attendant. <laughs> I kind of fall into the flight attendant stereotype when I am in uniform like this and then my ribbons like i think it i don't know i think it looks kind of good but yeah this is the skirt let me know what you guys think in the comment section also do you guys think i should take it in like get the jacket taken in because the regs doesn't say anything about like tailoring the sides of the jacket as far as i know i might have to look into the reg and just read up on it and stuff but yeah and i'm also considering whether or not i want to do a double ribbon rack like have a ribbon rack for my blazer and then have another ribbon rack that goes on my shirt i don't know it's so funny i look like a flight attendant my friend works for united airlines and i feel like we 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 low-key looking alike it's it's kind of funny actually hey peeps happy what's today happy tuesday day is over it's three o'clock i just got back to my room but i wanted to show you guys because this is official this means it's actually all over like let me show y'all what I just grabbed. So I finally, officially today, cleaned out my locker. I have my lock in my pocket. Super cute lock, by the way. I love the color pink. But I have my master lock in my pocket. I took it off of my locker today. I'm bringing back to my room all of the books that we went through, through the entire tech school. All the, well, the student guide books that we went through. <laughs> through my entire time here at tech school. And this means officially, we're done with student guides. No more tests, no more studying, done. The last couple of things we have to do, literally, couple meaning two. The last two things we have to do before graduation is our clinicals, which we have our two locations. I have two different locations I'm going to. And then one is um, military outpatient and the other one is civilian side inpatient. And then a thing we have to do is our briefing, which I told you guys my topic is court recovery. I'm going to try and convince Leland to let me present it to him. Like we're going to make a Zoom and I present it to him so I can run through it. But that's it. Then we're prepping, preparing for graduation and I'm gone. I'm done. I'm so excited. <laughs> do you guys want to see all the books? Let me show you guys these books, okay? I'm not gonna take too long showing you guys these books really quick because I still need to go to the military clothing store because remember yesterday I tried to go, fell, they ended up being closed, whoop whoop. So like they go in order number wise, but we didn't learn them in order. So I'm gonna show them to you, I guess in the order that we learned them. Should I do that? Yep, okay. Let's run through my mental health technician tech school or should I make this a whole separate video of like 
tech school as a mental health technician because that could be a whole separate video honestly our first learning section was introduction to human development and behavioral health so this section right here was number one is 101 section 102 was psychopathology and we had three books for this section okay and this was the section that we actually got into the dsm and then we went to 103 which was psychiatric interventions which was pretty straightforward and then 106 was psychological testing which was annoying because you had to like calculate different tests and stuff and then we hopped into 104 which 104 was interviewing so it was like when you do your psychiatric interviews inter intakes and stuff like that and we also had this supplemental book right here which is supplemental materials and then we hopped into 105 which was counseling which this section right here <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys have seen me talk about each section if you've been watching from the very beginning But this week is just I guess a culmination of me going over What the sections were not going in depth, but you know giving a brief overview and then 107 was cost so combat operational stress control and this is the section. This is a thick baby um, This section was actually broken into Army Air Force and Navy specific things that we do as well as some Marine Corps sprinkled in there um, and then our last section with um the army before we broke off just to be the air force was 108 and this was bls so this is actually like american red cross stuff like basic life saving cpr stuff like that and then 109 was our last 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 section which was just air force specific material and this is just everything that has to do with the air force and what we do as mental health technicians in the air force so that was tech school Right now. right now I'm about to change out of my uniform and head out the door so we go to the military clothing store and get our ribbons okay get what we need to get From military clothing store let me tell you spent $35 in there $35 now to you guys you may be saying that's not a lot of money but honestly that's a lot of money it's, it's a lot of money so let me show you guys really quickly what I got and then we're gonna put together my ribbon rack together so first and foremost I got myself these ribbon racks so they're just some plastic ones I've never seen these ones before they were how much were these I don't know they were like almost three dollars okay so i got this because originally when i first joined i ended up having this ribbon rack because when i first joined i only had two ribbons so this is a double ribbon rack right here right and then i ended up earning more ribbons so i ended up getting a three stack so i would wear them together to have a combined five but as you can imagine having these on your chest they kind of don't look good because it's a little wonky looking it's a little floppy but these are nice because everything is connected so really quickly just to show you it just makes everything look cleaner because there's no like flimsiness to it like it'll make more sense when i put it on or when i'm setting it up for you guys but as you can imagine like this looks better than the separation of like these two things and it makes it easier when it goes for me to like align everything on my uniform so i got two of these and then i also picked up my occupational badge so every career field only well, speaking for the air force i think it's across branches though but in the air force you have an occupational badge and that badge tells you what career field you're in so now that i'm changing career fields let me show you my old one so i do still have my old one which is so funny because you get two you put one on your blue shirt and you put one on the blazer or the jacket and this is what my old occupational badge looked like and it's my aviation management one and you get one when you graduate tech school and then as you get your different levels i think it goes from you get this for three five and then you get another one for seven and then you get another one for nine i think don't hold me to that but anyway so i got my new career fields occupational badge and this is what it looks like i'm going to take it out of the plastic but this is what it looks like inside the plastic and i got two of them like i just said and these were 550 okay these these weren't cheap um they weren't super expensive but they also were not cheap so this is what they look like outside the package so it just has 
the medical cross let me take it out of here there we go so this is what the new or my new occupational badge looks like so it just has the cross and it has like the little stake there or sword or whatever that is and then a snake around it what it's so odd though because obviously this occupational badge is way bigger than this little boy right here or this this little thing so i'm just like i don't know why some occupational badges are like super tiny like this and this one is huge but it is what it is so i ended up getting two of the occupational badges and then everything else i got were ribbons so i ended up deciding to get duplicates of the ribbons that i already have so that i can have my ribbon rack for my blue jacket and the blue shirt so first and foremost, let me show you guys what I purchased that with the ribbons that I don't have like at all. So I picked up two of the Good Conduct ribbons and I picked up two of the Outst Outstanding Unit ribbons and this is what those look like. And then I picked up two of the Air Force Longevity ribbons and this is what those look like. So um, in total, I have eight ribbons. Oh, and then I also picked up the Oakley posters. So let me show you guys these because I wasn't sure what they were supposed to look like, but the guy that was helping me find everything I needed, he was so helpful. Bless his soul. Um, he showed me these. So, so I ended up picking up two of these. So they come in a set of two and you put them on top of the, yeah, the Air Force Achievement ribbon. So my camera is dying, but I'm going to go ahead and put the Oakley cluster on here so you guys can see what it's supposed to look like. And I put it on there and that is what it looks like with the oak leaf cluster. It looks so fancy, cute. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and build my two ribbon racks. Got another like me. catch another fight. I just wanna have a good night. I just wanna have a good night. Hold up, don't know that no. If you broke, then you gotta let him go. You could have anybody, any money go. Cause when you was boss, you could do what you want. These are two different versions. Can you see how this one doesn't have a space and this one does? Are you serious? It's supposed to be looking like. I gotta go back. I gotta go back and return this one because this one is the wrong one. I'm gonna see if I can return this because this is the wrong one. This one has a space. It's not supposed to have a gap. Ugh. All right, peeps. You saw that I finished my ribbon rack and come to find out I purchased the wrong one. I didn't even notice that they said two different things on the packages like, can you guys see that? Literally one says that it has one eighth of an inch gap and then this one has no gap. Didn't even notice that. So I'm going to see if I can exchange it. Like I'm gonna go back to the military clothing store and see if I can exchange it for the right size because it's not supposed to have a gap. I don't know what service branch has gaps in their ribbons, but it's supposed to look like this. It's not supposed to have any gaps and I have class so i have class in three minutes so i'm gonna go to class and then i'll probably head back to the military clothing store so i'm gonna take my ribbons off of here and start over because what but it looks really good though huh it looks really good when it's gonna be on my chest keep boy put some respect on my name with the occupational badge um i'm back in my room right now i went to the defect and got some food and stuff but before i kind of wind down for the rest of the day i wanted to show you guys the finished product so i ended up being able to exchange it and get the proper ribbon whack whack ribbon rack so one is going to go on my blue shirt the other one's going to go on my blues jacket and i also have my occupational badges and i just feel very very like accomplished because this is one last thing i gotta do i'm still going back and forth with whether or not i want to get myself dry clean because it does seem like i could just hit you know take an iron to it and like knock out the little wrinkles that's in it and not require a dry clean to be honest um but we'll see how i feel once i put all of my stuff on and see you know what it looks like after me giving it a good iron but for tonight i'm pretty much done on camera for today um so i am going to see you guys tomorrow if i decide to pick up the camera hey peeps happy 
Friday. So happy it's Friday, okay? This week has not been stressful or overwhelming. It's just I'm happy it's Friday because that means we have 20 more days here in tech school. All right, now I'm actually putting some dry shampoo on my hair. I'm using the Haas Biotin Boost dry shampoo. I picked this up from Walmart like maybe a month ago, a month and a half ago. And I'm just hitting my roots real quick. Um, the only time I like to like do stuff like this, like add product, is when I know I'm going to be um, washing my hair soon because I just don't like the feeling of like a bunch of gunk in my hair, i.e. why I never really put gel in my hair. But I was watching the Deeper Than Hair YouTube channel. If you guys don't watch that channel, please go watch it. If you're a natural girly and you're interested in like hair and doing your hair at home, she is actually a licensed um, cosmetologist, so she's a professional. She actually went to hair school and beauty school and all that, but I just, you know, I like to watch her and learn new things. So she was talking about how she does her trim at home, um, and she does have a hairstylist like that does her like trims when she doesn't want to do it at home but then she was teaching us how to do it at home so i don't know it kind of just empowered me to do it myself because i've been searching i've been searching for a hairstylist here in san antonio baby it's hard okay it's so hard to find a good hairstylist that one you actually trust that they're not going to screw your hair up and two their prices are reasonable because for some weird reason natural hairstylists are ridiculously expensive like it does depend on where you are like because i'm in a big city it makes sense that you know the hairstylists are more expensive and pricey coming from like little warner robins georgia but still i'd be like how much you want for a trim sis no so i'm just gonna do it here in my room and hope and pray i don't screw it up because i've noticed my hair has been breaking off so badly like my ends let me show you guys my ends like my ends don't look terrible but you can see where they need to be trimmed like i don't need to take off a whole bunch but i definitely need to go ahead and like trim that off and i was looking at my hair earlier too and i was actually able to see the split on the end of my hair strand i was able to see it where it was splitting and i was like oh no 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 and that might explain why i've been having such issues with breakage like my hair breaking off so i'm gonna just give it my best shot um solid beauty is about 10 minutes away so i'm gonna head there and then i have um, a group therapy session to go to tonight and it's because in my master's program, I have to attend a group therapy session. And I've been searching for all different types of group therapy sessions. And it's hard to find some that are like open to the public. But I found um, one online because one of my classmates sent the information to me. And she was like, look it up, see if you have any locally in San Antonio. And we do. And the group therapy that I'm actually going to attend is called Celebrate Recovery. And it's for anybody that's recovering from anything. And it's actually hosted at a church. Never been to that church before. Um, so we'll see how this goes. But she said the one that she went to was an open group. So I should be able to just like pop in, sit in. And the assignment for my class is just to sit and observe how the group operates. Um, you know, just take some notes in terms of like the group dynamics and like how they... Um, how they run the group, like what they did, what they talk about. So plan is go to Solid Beauty, pick up the shares, come back, pick up Serta, and then we're gonna go to the group therapy session. So I'm going to leave my camera here because obviously I'm not going to record the group counseling session. I'll maybe probably try to get clips of like the church, the inside of the church and like the setup and stuff. But I will not be recording, obviously, um, the group session. But um, let me go ahead and head out to Sally Beauty. And yeah, I'll show you guys the shares that I pick up though too. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Again, like trim my hair but my ends look so nasty. This shit was all. It's funny how someone else's success brings pain When you're no longer involved, that person has it all And you just